cheapest places to visit in Europe. Europe is jam-packed full of incredible places, but I always ask myself which are the most budget-friendly. Europe's incredible culture, history, and cuisine come at a cost. Yet, there are many ways to travel for cheap. In this video, we are going to tell you about the cheapest places to visit in Europe. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Bucharest, Romania If you're somebody who wants to live in a big city and have access to the widest range of options for eating, drinking and activities to do in your free time, then you don't really need to look any further than Bucharest. With more than 2 million people living here every day, this city is over five times the size of Tirana, Albania's capital, making one of the largest in the EU after Berlin, Madrid, Rome, and Paris. It's safe to say it is considerably cheaper to live in Bucharest than in any of those cities and while there's not an endless list of cultural attractions, there are plenty of museums, parks, and quirky districts to explore. The rent for an one-bedroom apartment can start from 300 euros and can go up to 700 euros in more expensive areas. Yes, it can sometimes be gritty and traffic choked but then comes a gorgeous green space. A vegan cafe serving perfect pizzas, a sky bar, or a winsome old Orthodox church hiding in plain sight. Here, you'll also find the world's second largest administrative building, the Palace of the Parliament. Dinners can be limited to 6 to 7 euros per person in cheaper areas and around 10 to 15 euros in high-end restaurants. Cotter Montenegro Cotter is famed for its medieval UNESCO-certified old town and stunning bay. The average cost of living in Cotter is around 700 euros, which is in the top 33% of the least expensive cities in the world. Ranked 6,257th out of 9,294 in our global list and first out of 9 in Montenegro. The median after-tax salary is around 500 euros per month, which is enough to cover living expenses for less than one month. You can savor its delicious seafood delicacies with a mid-range, three-course meal only costing around 25 euros. Surrounded by walls, cars are forbidden within the town itself, so the best way to get around is to walk. However, as Cotter is situated directly on the Bay of Cotter, you might want to rent a stand-up paddleboard, around 30 euro for 24 hour. Accommodation is also very reasonable and for 20 euros a night. You can book a private room in a hostel or you can find some stunning apartments on Erden for just 50 euros a night. Tirana, Albania The Albanian capital is one of the cheapest cities in Southeast Europe and in the entire Europe. The cost of living in Tirana is very low compared to the other Europe countries. A real hidden gem, Mountain-framed, Tirana has interesting museums on former communist bunkers, mural-dotted boulevards, and a good clubbing scene. While the Dachi Expers cable car is only 7 euro return, ascends one of those peaks for breathtaking country views. You can buy two triangular, cheese, or beef-filled burex and sip cups of coffee for only 1 euro. Bratislava, Slovakia Common around the Slovak capital, Zemiakov Plaki are fried, garlicky potato pancakes which are sold for just a euro or two. Goulash here is correspondingly reasonable, and with one euro, you can buy for sure a beer. Flights can be as cheap as 20 euros to discover this beautiful capital. Draped along the Danube like a sleeping cat, its winding, patisserie peppered old town and cheerfully hued blue church, officially the Church of St. Elizabeth, seduce visitors below a rectangular castle complex. An equally good lookout point is the Riverbank's futuristic UFO tower, whose 95 meters high observation deck you can travel by speedy lift for roughly 10 euros. Krakow, Poland Krakow has been ranked one of the cheapest cities break in Europe, with even the most luxurious restaurants charging only 10 euros to 15 euros a meal and high-end bars charging 4.50 euro a cocktail and 2 euro for a beer. It's easy to get a taste of luxury while spending relatively little in Krakow, a listed UNESCO World Heritage Site that's home to over 100 festivals a year. This thriving Polish city is truly one of Europe's cheapest and most exciting places to travel. If you're traveling as a pair, you can grab a 5-star hotel room for as little as 45 euros a night. 
or a three-star room for only 25 euro per night. Alternatively, for the same 25 euros price tag, you can book a great, centrally located apartment on Erden. Public transit is quite affordable in Krakow, with prices ranging from around 0.80 euro for a 20-minute ticket to about 11 euro for a 72-hour pass and lots of options in between. The Krakow card is a city pass that includes unlimited public transport, transfers to the airport and Auschwitz Museum and Wielicka Salt Mine, along with discounted admission prices to different attractions. There is a two-day or three-day pass option, and it can be purchased online or from local vendors. Entertainment prices in Krakow are fairly cheap considering the vibrancy of the nightlife in the city. Istanbul, Turkey A breathtaking city that straddles both Europe and Asia via the Bosphorus Strait, Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and a fantastic place to travel on a budget. For as little as 20 euros a night, you can stay in a charming city center apartment on Erden, or for just 18 euros per night per person, you can find a room in a three-star hotel. Just like in Krakow, luxury is more affordable in Istanbul, making from this a must to visit it. A three-course meal in a good restaurant will set you back around 9 euros, while street food delicacies such as simit, a Turkish bagel or pied, Turkish flatbread will cost between 0.15 euro to 0.50 euro, respectively. Public transport is also cheap. A one-way ticket on a bus, tram, funicular, or ferry costs 0.5 euro with an extra 0.2 euro added to your fare if you are hopping between two different vehicles. Santa Cruz, La Palma, Spain Famed for its stunning laurel forests, volcanic landscapes, and favorable climate, the majestic island of La Palma has a lot to offer as a cheap European vacation destination. Though not as popular as Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, or Fuerteventura, La Palma is a hiker's paradise and budget-friendly too. Santa Cruz is La Palma's second-largest city located to the east of the island and the perfect base from which to explore the local hiking trails. With charming Erdens coming in at around 50 euro a night, three-star hotels costing around 40 euro a night, and hostels averaging around 10 euro a night. This is a place where you can spend your holiday no matter what month you will come. The prices at the restaurants varies from 3 to 15 euros for a dish while the price for a beer starts from 1.5 euros. Budapest, Hungary if its synthesis of classical architecture, great nightlife, glamorous cafes, glorious Danube bridges, and thermal baths doesn't already add up to a perfect city break, then Budapest has another ace to play. It's easily done on a budget. Many sites in Hungary's capital are free to visit. Fisherman's Bastion and its river-facing terraces, the food-focused Great Market Hall, and Heroes Square and others, such as the scenic rooftop of St. Stephen's Basilica, cost a pittance. With hearty goulash lunches, forward-thinking dinners, and late-night drinks making little additional dent in your finances, splashing out 30 euros to enter the Insta-famous Chechenie baths should not be missed. Here, you can find hostels for only 15 euros per night in city center, while the price for a three-star hotel starts from 50 euros per night. Porto, Portugal Portugal Porto is a very popular city among digital nomads in our community. Thanks to a favorable climate, crypto-friendly regulations, and low cost of living, Portugal is a dream country for many. The second largest city in Portugal, Porto is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the cheapest places to travel in Western Europe. With a stay in a city center apartment costing around 50 euros, you can find hostel rooms for as little as 9 euros a night. Food-wise, a three-course meal in an upscale restaurant will cost you around 35 euros and a fair two-course meal with wine in Atasca, a no-frills restaurant, will cost between 12 euros to 18 euros. One of the best things you can invest in to make your trip to Porto even cheaper is a Porto card. Ranging from 13 euros to 33 euros depending on if you want to use it for one to four days, this card grants you free, unlimited access to all public transport and 20 to 50% off many tourist attractions. This was all for today. 
I hope you liked the video. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting things around the world.